A quick heads up, my voice is still a little croaky from a winter cold. I'm here at Kingsham, looking for some fossils in the fields. These are the kind of fields that are seen all over the Somerset area and they are filled with limestone rocks which often contain ammonites, uh, bivalves, brachiopods, occasionally bernonites and marine reptile bone. There's a bivalve or brachiopod. There's a the ammonite, and there's another bite valve on this rock. Actually, I think it's a brachiopod. Yeah. a bit of a bivalve. There's another one there. There's usually Quite a few large ammonite blocks in here. There's a nice bivalve there. Small bivalves. Oh, there's one. A nice big amulet settlement. Three worlds. It's not very well preserved and there's a lot of calcification on it, which is typical for this area. Uh, I don't think I'll bring this one back. a nice big, I don't know what that is, I think it's a brachiopod maybe. I'm not sure what that is. Probably the end of Gryphia, I think. Don't really get much of those around here, but they are, they are here. It's tiny little, Calcified brachiopod. I just flipped over this big rock and there are some bivalves and brachiopods on the bottom.
it's a print of a bike up there. Split in half. Oh, hello. Oh, that's good. It's got the keel as well. Yeah. This is a quite a well preserved one. It's got a little spider down right there. These ones we put here probably three years ago. Look. Big hammerhead oils. How nice. It's like graphia. It's a print. Look at this rock. Well, here, the keel. Big bit here. Print. Another one here. Look at this rock and this one. Look at that rock. There's a wooden one. This section of the wall is basically gone. Uh, you can look through that all, all you want. But these bits I'm still gonna keep up. There's Narnia. This bit of the wall's collapsed. Some big walls in it. And like this size are probably about Maybe 60, 70 centimetres across. The raw limestone in here. Okay, it's a big piece of a bivalve in there. This is a nice bit. Big whirl print there. Bit of calcite and a uh, brachiopod. It's a 
big impression. This bit of the wall is intact, so I will not remove any pieces from it. Of course, you really shouldn't remove any pieces from any walls that you see, but if they have been taken down or have been left a scrap, then it should be fine. Well, of course, you should always ask landowners for permission. This is a public footpath, and I have also asked for permission. but it's been scored up by the cultivation. There's a little ammonite just under the surface there. Big eroded piece. There's a broken bivalve in there. And pheasant hunting over there. It's a very large, very eroded print. There's a different bivalve. It's a rib dawn. Did you know birds fly in V patterns like this to take advantage of the wake left from the ones in front of them as it makes flying more efficient? Nice big bivalve there. Little laminite. These are all the fossils from Canesham that are not in my garden. These are the ones that I have picked up today. There are three large ammonite pieces, with the largest piece being from an ammonite, which is probably about 60 to 70 centimeters across when it was alive. I believe these are all of the same genus, which is Tysonites giganteus, one of the largest ammonite genera. This is the best preserved piece. It has a little stowaway though. Although it is empty. I also found a couple of bivalves and brachiopods. That one's very well calcified. And this one I will prepare out of the rock later. So Gryphia or Devil's Toenail. From one or two previous trips I've collected these. 
there's a small uh, piece of nanolite whorl. A couple larger pieces, which have some calcification. This piece has the, the segment taken out of it from a inner whorl. Also, some smaller specimens. And some imprints. As well as some small and large bivalves. and a large bivalve block. I believe these are relatives of razor clams. Little amount. And some calcification. Some calcite. This is a very poorly preserved ribbed bivalve. This piece has a small ammonite impression, as well as some nice large ribbed bivalves and brachiopods. Now I'll go fossil hunting in my own garden. There's are fossils pretty much everywhere. That is from Lyme Regis, I believe. Some small bivalves. These are from Canesham, large ammonite prints, and some whorls, a piece of flint, and some large ammonite blocks. Some more whorls. Look at this rock, it's got stripes. And a little block of obsidian. Down here you can see a little one. There's a very eroded print and a little conglomerate and a wild black panther. Say hello. Here's one. Still got spikes on it, but it's a modern one. There's a big one. There's a nice calcified one. A very large one. And a not so large one. Thank you for watching. This has been my video on fossils from Canesham.